Any large amounts of currency? What's that? Like a, a ton of money, like tens of. Did, did she just say what's a large amount of currency? And she's operating a motor vehicle. Yo. Any large amounts of currency? What's that? Like a. a Wow. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tex Trish coming back again with another video. And today, AC by the title, we'll be reacting to mother arrested in $50,000 drug bus with kids in car. I do, do want to let you know, I was recording this video and I've watched two minutes and 34 seconds before I realized that I was not recording. So the first two minutes and 34 seconds, there's not going to be much reaction from me. Just putting that out there, don't want to have fake content. But yeah, I seen the first two minutes and 34 seconds before I realized that I was recording. So I will play that back for y'all and let's get right into it. Hey, how you guys doing? Hi, thank you. Do you have your license with you, man? Thanks, the reason I stopped you, a few different reasons. One, did you buy your vehicle with the window tint like One this? One thing I did yeah. notice is that like her story is not adding up like already. Like the first two minutes, it's not adding Yeah, up. I caught that. That's a pretty decent crack right where your view's supposed to be at. Okay. Alright. So my mechanic can't fix it. I took it in yesterday for an oil change and all that crap. Reason. Okay. You got a dog in the back? Yeah. My little Keyshawn. Oh, She's nice. She's wimpy. She's oh, wimpy? She's wimpy. Oh, limpy. I accidentally I'm taking, I'm dropping them off. We're taking her to the back. Okay. But, um... Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you have insurance registration with you for the vehicle? Do you happen to have an ID with you, sir? You don't? No? Alright. When I read the title, I thought they were talking about like five, six year olds. I told you the tent, the crack windshield, and then you shortcut the I did like, yeah, the 401k already. Right but right right yeah, um, you, there's signs you make a right. You can already tell she's like talking like she can't even tell what's going on. You're not from here, so I wouldn't expect you to know that, but you gotta obey the signs. Oh, you are? I moved to Nevada and came back to Okay, I just saw you, Monroe Falls. Is that still a good address? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Hey, so thank you. Do I got a loop around? What's that? I got a loop around. Yeah. Can you go ahead and write your name and your social for me? I appreciate that. Do you have an Ohio license? No. no. He's from Nevada. Oh, you're from Vegas? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna talk with you out here, okay? I'm gonna have my partner watch traffic. I'm gonna have you step out real quick. Just go over this stuff and get you guys rolling on your way, okay? What's that? Oh no, I got a really bad rash. You got a rash? Okay. Yeah. Will you keep your shirt on? I know. No, it's really bad. I use the product. Okay. Alright, okay, let's stand off here so we're out of it. So, like, I feel like that could be a red flag okay. as well. That's so just me personally. Where are you from today? From my room. From the so, room? So I moved to Nevada. Nevada. My son was having a ton of trouble, so I sent him back with his She dad. almost said it. And I gave it a little bit of time for him to learn, like, you know, like, you need me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then I came out here to get him. We're staying there for a couple days. My winter backpack. We got stuck on a freaking mountain in Colorado. Oh, oh my god, I need a tune up. Here, let's go get... back here. I'm going to write you a warning ticket. Not a real I ticket, a warning. Oh. Uh, I think this is where I realized that, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I wasn't right recording. I got my ticket. Oh, my warning's on the other side. You can just say it there. One of your officers was telling me yesterday that my insurance should cover that. He said, a lot of times they will. Camp. It depends on your level of coverage. It's yep. Oh, I have super full coverage. Okay, cool. Like, I have super full coverage. Awesome. I lock my keys yeah. In the car a lot. You'll definitely be. That's and worth she's the not responsible. That's then. not cheap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Twice on a Monday and a Wednesday. I, I, I called and got lockouts because I had a feeling I got three of them. And on Monday and Wednesday, I used two of them. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you know the guys in the car? So, they're all from stuff. Except, from where? Except stuff, oh, okay. where we live. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all my son's friends and his girlfriend. They wanted to hang out. My daughter missed them. So I let them come stay the night. I got to take them all home. They're Is your son crazy. in the car? Yeah. Which my one's son's your son? in the middle. Oh, in the middle in the back? Yeah. Okay. And then that's his best friend from Nevada. I brought him with me to kind of... Wait, so who's the dude in the front? Help with the drive and then help get him back out there and right keep us from arguing and just like kind of mediate. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's nice. Because he's struggling with some things and I'm just trying to get him away from here. Yeah. Stone is not... I don't know why, but like my heart really? is racing for her. We're in Henderson. It's oh, nice. nice. Have you been there? I have. 
yeah. together. Oh yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. How long you, you know, been out there? Uh, Maybe she's just a social you person, like but she's talking yeah, like way about too the, much. The sun every morning in the mountains that like helps your soul. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, I, I actually I I left too for my own struggles. I like. I'll be honest, I was an alcoholic. I went to Vegas and got sober. Good for you. And everybody's like, what? And went to Vegas and got sober? Go to Vegas of all places and get sober. But hey. sometimes having it in your face all the time yeah. is like enough to say no. That's awesome. Maybe. Chad, am I wrong? Like I've seen bodies fall out of car dad. Really? Yeah. So I think it's a, I think that's what did it. Seeing all those accidents and drunk drivers. And okay. I was like, I just don't want that, you know? How long did it uh, take you to drive out here then? Oh my gosh. The drive there was four days, but the drive back was a day and a half. Because I like already Wait, did you it. drove from here to go there? I drove there with my kids, and then my son acted up, so I shipped him, I flew him back out here. Okay. Because he needed to learn a hard lesson, like what life's like without me. So you drove your son from Stowe out to Vegas? Yeah, but I, and I then just one day packed out? up my shit and was gone. Okay. And, you know, and we have, I have a storage unit here, I need to empty out. Okay. So there's just stuff to take care of. I, I just laugh. I didn't handle everything because I was just trying to really get him out of. Am my trip when she's just like away from the yapping drugs, for no reason? It, it was too okay. much. Good. It was hard. Yeah. So who did you drive it back with from Vegas? With his friend. I brought his friend to help drive. The, the front passenger? Yep. I brought him to help drive. And then Why is the friend in the front passenger? To help us mediate. Because okay. we argue a lot. You know, he's a teenager. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's he's locked oh, up. He's not coming out. Oh, he made um, my keys down alive. So, are no, you he's going, going drugs. back to Vegas or are you yeah, staying we're out here? Go back. No, he's coming too. He oh, your son's it. coming back? I got Chat, I am maybe. Maybe there's something wrong with me, but I am really confused. Like, it seems like. It sounds like she's saying like a whole bunch of nothing. She's saying a whole bunch of nothing, literally. Literally saying a whole bunch of nothing. So my son struggles with like the opiates or whatnot sometimes, okay. you know what I mean? He's been sober, but he's relapsed twice. Oh, she just um, admitted I, to uh, him having drugs. The is that the facility well, not having drugs, but their consent and their mind is used. Yeah. So now it's a certain vehicle, up to me I think. Beyond royally, mentally, all kind of ways, right? But um, I found out there was a place out here. That's why I really came back. And he doesn't know it yet, but he's about to be thrown in. Okay. So I don't know yet. I don't know how long it's going to take. Let me, let, you, let me ask you this. Your car does smell like marijuana. How much weed's in the car? Ooh. I don't know. I know they were smoking before we left. Okay. I mean, it's are they 21 and older? Yeah, he, he is. Well, he's 20, He's about to be 21. All he right. was smoking. Well, they've got to be 21 and older. Okay. So oh, I didn't know they that. They brought the weed in the car? No, he was smoking before we left. Uh-uh. I, nope. I they about to search. They about to search. She's lying. He's not in the car. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know until I came out and saw it, and I was like, "Fuck you guys! Like you can't do that." Yeah. You know what I mean? Cow. So She's lying. She's who lying. Are you to right now, then. So I gotta take her. I gotta take them back to Stowe. I gotta take my daughter to her sitter. I gotta take my dog to the vet because I accidentally stepped on her and she's limping. So I just got a lot of crap to do. Okay. Hopefully my dog's okay. Your dog? Yeah, yeah. she's like not even stepping on it. Ugh. And she's, my dog, she's a show dog. Like I have a photo shoot for her. She's a dog that does the tricks. In like okay. The, yeah, with the little bows. She's a Kishan. So if I broke her... Man, like, search the vehicle. Is there anything inside the vehicle I need to be concerned about that would be illegal in the car? Any firearms? Not that I no. know of. Any kind of uh, computer equipment for like skimmers, scanners, anything like ripping off credit cards, anything like that? There better not be. Okay. Part And part of what we do on the roadways is make sure... That's a pretty from point yeah, a to point a different question to ask. State, without a state, anything like yeah, that, okay? No, no, no. So I no firearms, get, no electronics. I came to get my kid. Okay. Any drugs inside the vehicle? Not that I know of. Any crack? No. Cocaine. No. Opiates. No. Marijuana. Meth. No, anything like not, that. Not that I know of. Okay. I don't. Any large amounts of currency? What's that? Like a, a ton of money, like tens of. Did, did she just say what's a large amount of currency? And she's operating a motor vehicle. Yo. Any large amounts of currency? What's that? Like a. a 
Wow. All right. <laughs> Tens of thousands of dollars no, or anything no, like that. Yeah, Would you yeah. mind if I searched your vehicle to make sure there's nothing illegal in there? Yeah, I don't know. You don't I, mind? I, mean, I, I can search it. I have nothing to hide. Okay. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, this officer is just going to get uh, your search and the phone number, and that'll be it on there. That's just a warning. It's not a ticket, okay? Just you got a few issues to take care of with the car and moving violations wise, okay? Oh, all right. Thanks. She gave consent. So, I'm going to come up. Don't reach. Come back here. What do you have? What, what do you have by your left hand? Yeah, you're reaching hard, man. What's, what's by your ball? Why you put anything in your pants? Why are you reaching down there? Hold this up. Okay, we're going to patch you down, okay? Yeah, he got something, bro. You can tell. You gotta be 21 to have it, alright? <laughs> so not the end of the world. I appreciate you being honest, though, okay? I'm not looking to jam you up over a little bit of personal abuse, okay? We can search him. Hey, look at him, look at him, look at him. He wants, he wants to. I know y'all see that voice, but say, he wanted to throw him in a slammer. Look at him. <laughs> he wanted him to go to jail. Look at him. We can search him. Come on, man. You got shorts on or are those boxers? Oh, boxers? Those are boxers. Okay. You didn't talk Yo, this cop down. is actually like pants, being like very like compliant and like you know not being the jerk, which is great. The dude was complying as well. That's all I have. Okay, where are you? That's all you have. Did you already get that side? Uh, not real well. Okay. Is that just your vape? Yeah, this is my lighter. Or your lighter, rather. Okay. So that's the, that's the, the son's friend, and he's in the front seat. You said weed legal. Yes, but you're 20, bro. Man, about to search the car and find a whole bunch of stuff. What do you have in your pants? I don't have nothing for Dude, I don't believe that one. I feel it feels like pills are like a big little crash. The whole time. Just tell me. That's my lungs. Dude, we're gonna find it. Dude said. I gotta do it. This was well. Step back from the car. If I shake it, is it gonna fall out? Because I don't want to reach in your pants. No, sir. It's not gonna fall out? Hey, you wave on. Bro. What do you say? I'm on the log. Right on. Alright, let's go back in the second. I have no idea what he said. What else do you have on you? Because anything else you bring back to jail. It's gonna be an F3, even if it's a roach, if it's one pill, if it's a needle cap, right? You understand? Okay. Because if you have anything else on you, I'm gonna have you kick your shoes off before you get in here, okay? Are these straight tripping? Uh, just straight up, are they press fed? Yes, sir. They are? Okay, thanks, man. I just don't wanna get that stuff, you know. It, it doesn't hold up like regular pills do. I don't want to have somebody get a bunch of powder on them. Yeah. Is there more in the vehicle? Uh, no, sir. That's Is there more on you? Uh, no, sir. That's, that's you didn't seem too confident dude. on you've that. Been, you, 
So here's what's going to happen, okay? I'll be honest with you. Thank you for being honest with me as much as you've been, okay? I get it. Mother arrested. This, right? Okay. I'm, not, I'm waiting on that. You're not, you know, El Chapo with this, okay? So. It's not a small deal, but it's not... He just told him, okay? your ass. If you have something else on you, you're going to go to jail. All right? I'm just being up front. Right now, you are going to jail, okay, for the possession of these. You're going to get strip searched in the jail, okay? So. If you bring anything on in you, even if it's one of these pills or, or anything at all like that, that's a felony three. Okay, so, that's a pretty high felony in Ohio. That's mandatory jail time in most cases. Is there anything else on you? Because I'd rather find it out here and talk with you about it than have you bring it back in there. And then the so, bosses don't let us really talk. And yeah. you know, it is what it is. You bring something dangerous in the in the jail. Yeah, yeah he'll be no cooked, chat. No, sir, no, sir, nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna pat you down again to make sure. Okay, is that right, is that so, cool? All right. That's uh. How many are in there? I think like a couple hundred. About a hundred? Yeah. Okay. He's cooked. No, I just depend Listen, on how much it weighs. That's that's all that's more in personal use. Okay. Good spread your legs for me a little further. Thank you, you realize it's a lot bigger target than you go to jail and they're smore hidden. Yeah. Okay. So you haven't been honest one time yet. So I'm <laughs> yeah, now. if he goes to jail, he has it, bro. He's he's cooked. That's another felony charge. I mean, it's gonna be continuous for the regardless, but it's another charge. Or that works. All right. Balenciaga. Anything stuffed down your shoes? How much do Balenciaga shoes cost? 800? Cool. He looked like a hater. <laughs> he's just like, I know he's lying. Just look at him. You can tell he's a hater. You can tell. You ever been arrested before? What's that? Cap. Alright, man. You want to slide those back on? Go put that in. Don't kick me, dude, okay? Good? All right, cool, man. Thanks. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll Bro take has. this property and this, put it in my car. So what did the woman do, man? Yeah, Why is he in the front seat anyway? Exactly. Right. Dude, he was touching it the whole time in and out. When I Great got caught on it. Yep. Excellent catch on Get them out. I got a, Yeah. She gave me a story about driving out to Vegas and one day with her son, flying the son home, taking him. told you? Yeah, taking him from Vegas. What did she tell him? Driving four days back here to meet the son again. They have no timelines. They have nothing. Like, yeah. No idea. We were already here. I was at RAS talking to her. Her story didn't make sense. Even what your story is, what I got is. They don't match. Right on. We're going to have everybody hop out. We do have probable cause to search everybody in the vehicle, okay? Well, he's an adult, so, and you're not his mom, right? He's, he's going back to jail. It's his business. If he wants to tell you, he can, okay? It'd be like if you if you had something, I wouldn't want to tell him. You know what I mean? I can't hear you. Are they minors in the car? gave consent to search, told him to get out. He starts reaching in his crotch immediately. Tell him not to reach. He keeps reaching, putting his crotch up against the thing. He gives us consent to search and pat him down. I feel him like, dude, that's a bag of pills. He's like, there's nothing there. I shook his pants. They fell out down his pant legs. No, he I said just, it's 100 fentanyl pills. I would, you already checked out this satchel. I did, but double check it. Is there more? That's a gun. It's yep. a gun. They're not in Texas either. Oh, and it's unlawful use of the firearm. It's an unusual loss of a firearm with the possession of drugs. Koenig? I've never heard of that. I, I hey, ma'am. Is this your bag? Okay. Nope. She said now. It was tucked up under the seat. I'll ask, I'll is ask that yours? Nope. 
She's got a thin blue line flag air fresh. I'm gonna take pictures yeah, of that is, stuff. This is the, like this is look at this. Yeah, like, back to the seats. This car's been ripped. I think I, we should probably see if those dudes want to get a search for that hotel room. Oh yeah. Like yeah, I I think. Uh oh, he says something he shouldn't. Says something he shouldn't. Search one for the hotel. What's Doug, did you talk to the kid if this was his bag? Or ask him anything? Man, they ain't got no communication. You go ask him, bro. Okay. Alright. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. Friendly environment here. I did. Okay, I did. I felt I went and talked to him. Basically said that uh, he remembers Miranda rights. He's denying ownership. Doesn't know anything about it. That's not his bag, not his gun. Which you showed it to him? We all know it's bullshit. I didn't show him the bag, guys. Okay. I asked her, she goes, Oh, I don't know anything about it. And the seven year old girl goes, That's Chino's. Beautiful. I go, Who's Chino? Know that? Well, he watches her sometimes, and I don't see everything that happens. Perfect. Then, dude, that's good enough for me. Yep. All right. I mean, aside which from which one the, the little kid said that? The little girl, the seven year old. Right on. Who's like, Chino? That's Chino's. Yeah. I, I got a picture. Dude, they got a. Thin blue line air freshener hanging, a uh, big wooden cross sitting on the dash. Good. All the good stuff. All right, I'll peel this then. Yeah. Is there more? I don't know. I know she's going to see a detailer though. Hey, there's another bag. Uh oh. Where was that? Right under the front passenger seat. Nice. So, I was pulling the seat back. I don't know if it fell or if it was that. I'm like, that bag doesn't look normal. Right on Yo! the passenger seat, right on like the seat. I there's keys in there too. Fell out, so let's fucking yank these. I imagine there's more. What'd you find? More? I don't know what it is. Imagine they're using the keys for a cover up. So I peeled yeah, what this point side. Right here. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. We just found a whole bunch more. Yeah, they got hides. Dude, awesome. Dude, is that weed or is that key? Dude, it's. That's not quite a key. That, or like a, that's like a quarter, probably. Dude. Can you imagine that's fant and he's smelling it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Dude, if that's weed, I'm going to be really mad. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no, no way that's to go that That's yeah. That's going to be fucking heroin. Yo. Oh, because she made a bad turn. Oh, uh, does it have that? I like that painter's. Yeah. Like, so, well, if it's pills, think about it like this. If this is 21, yeah. how many do you think that would be? That's the <laughs> point. You know? It might be, man. It's like moving around. It's not... Dude, feel that. That might be pills, bro. Man, you better put some gloves on. Safe the first, brother. These are too durable, so yeah. it's not like, yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Nice fucking job, bro. Good job, you great fucking style. Greg's fun. Uh, I'll throw those you, in I was going to say, do you have bags? Yeah, I'll keep all this separate, and I'll start marking down what came from where. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we're also going to figure out where your kids are going and all that stuff. Well, my sitter is on 70. Ma'am, it's not insane. None of y'all stories are matching up. With over $50,000 in value, this operation was definitely not a small time affair. The mother was charged with drug trafficking and, and she's smiling. You're never so small in your mugshot. Because then, when you're in the court, they see your mugshot. They're not. They're gonna think you didn't learn nothing. They're gonna think you accused of all that. You never so smile your mugshot. Never, 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 never. Duh. Put a serious face on light. Tie. You know what I mean? Child endangerment. While her passenger was charged with drug trafficking and possession of a stolen firearm. 
He received a $1 million bail. Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Life is hard work. Let $1 million bail? Yo, that's crazy work. That's like aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Please subscribe. It helps my confidence go boom, 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 boom. Please like, comment, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Give somebody a hug. We are a wonderful person. Take care. Check out another one of my Rex videos. Signing out. Peace.